Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 vs 1 bot AI cast. We have got ourselves what should be a good one here today. I'm already a little bit confused here though as our first bot, Evil Zoe, is saying macro ZVP when indeed it is actually a ZVT, so <laughs> there may be a slight mistake there. Regardless, we'll see how it's gonna work, or we'll see how it's gonna work out. It could just be like uh, a naming bug or something. Regardless, a TBZ between Benbot and Evil Zo should be an exciting one, and I do know that some people pronounce Zo Zoe, and I'm just gonna default to whatever one my brain picks. So yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get too far into this one, make sure to go ahead and slap that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not, join the Discord, which is linked down below, and consider becoming a YouTube member. Apologies about that. Yeah, so, uh, let's see, we have got a barracks on the way for Benbot. And then a bunker going up across the map. So Benbot is known to occasionally proxy a Rax, whereas this time it's just going for the proxy bunker. And it's a very strong strategy. Evil Zoe saying, shouldn't these go in your base? Well, yeah, definitely. But Evil Zoe doesn't seem to be bothered by that at all, actually. It's not really responding to this cheese that's not... It's not as bad as if it was a proxy rack. However, there is a marine crossing the map. The marine just ignores that overlord. It is got. It is on a mission to make it to the safety of that bunker. That 400 HP, just solid shell for the marine, that could potentially allow it to kill off this hatchery if a few of its buddies join up with it. We do have a second marine crossing the map now. Benbot knows how strong this proxy bunker strategy is, and the bot author has continued to keep it in the bot. And so yeah, let's take a look here. We have got a command center popping on up. Double gas going up for Benbot. And then yeah, just a solid macro opener. Looks like looks like Zoe does have a very strong response to this. Made Nuffling shut down that bunker with extreme ease. It did of course cut a lot of drones to make that happen however, so some damage was definitely done in that regard by Benbot. Benbot could potentially be a little bit vulnerable to a counterattack, but it is starting up a bunker at its natural now and should be totally safe I think. Evil Zoe now going back into drones, getting up Ling's speed for all those zerglings that it made, and now we're just heading into a, into a macro ZVT it seems. Command center going on up for Benbot, turning into that orbital. The factory is being produced, of course, a little bit delayed due to that opening build. And then we've got a third base going up for Zoe. And everything is looking good. A Roach Warren's now going up for Zoe. So potentially. Potentially some aggression there. Potentially just going to be a roach-based play. We shall see. Of course, roaches are incredibly efficient. More so than StarCraft II roaches in uh, actual human play. Just due to, the, due to the nature of how bots have that unlimited APM, they can burrow them. And we are seeing the burrow being researched by Zoe. We have got a third command center going up for Benbot, so it really is macroing. There's that starport, probably for the battle cruiser down the line. And then we'll see how well Zoe's potentially going to respond to the battle cruiser. We've seen bots like Eris scout that perfectly, throw up lots of spore crawlers for now. Zoe is making lots of queens. Well, not lots of queens. It's actually only got four, so it doesn't actually have that many queens, pardon me. So we'll have to see if it does make more of these queens. And here's another thing, the creep, this, if there's a bot author who programs a zerg bot, this seems to be a common thing. Why are the creep tumors not always spreading? Like what requirements is the bot author of Evil Zoe waiting for here before the bot says yes, let's spread some more creep? Because those tumors are just not spreading at all. 
As a matter of fact, it looks like it hasn't spread a single creep tumor yet. It's just placed down completely fresh ones, perhaps? There, there's that one spreading. Or no, that, that's that's actually just a brand new creep tumor, I believe. Yeah. So, Evil Zoe not spreading its creep tumors. In Well, it's spreading creep by placing down tumors, but it's not actually spreading those tumors. We've had Evil Zoe try and poke into that wall. It's never going to get through that bunker siege tank combo. It's just too strong for a bot to easily break through. A human has the finesse in order to break down something like that, potentially. A bot... That's very, very difficult to program. We've got BenBot floating over its third command center. Going to land that. We'll see if it's going to be an orbital or if that will be a planetary fortress for the defense. A Raven's on the way as well for BenBot. Good number of Marines are just hanging out. 1-1 one, one is on the way for the Roaches. That's really important. Going to make them a lot tougher and deal a lot of damage. And then again, that uh, might not be too relevant as we're seeing that battle cruiser is on the way and the anti-air for the zerg bot is not much at this point i know some of these zerg bots will quite literally just ignore the air units and not respond to them at all i don't believe zoe is one of them there's a chance that it is however it does just start up a hydralisk den so it's going to be able to produce some anti-air the plus one will be very important when it comes to dealing with bcs if it is just relying on hydralisk We've got some roaches moving out on the map. There is no roach speed for them done just yet. The raven, kind of a bit of poor timing there. Tosses down the anti-armor missiles. Bruises up some of them, or covers those roaches in Dorito dust. We've got the roaches charging on in. Into the bunker, one of those tanks is a little far forward. However, there is some damage done, and the roaches have no choice but to retreat. That boy probably wants to burrow to get healed on up. However, there is no tunneling clause just yet for those roaches either, so they don't really have the option to do that. We have got all the upgrades, all the bases, all the things coming online for both of these bots. I do like that Evil Zoe is going up to its sixth base already. It's already got the gold base too. That's really going to give it an economic boost as far as dealing with the units of BenBot. BenBot got up the third base pretty quickly, so it's not in a terrible economic spot, but the Zerg bot is definitely doing what it needs to do as far as making all that or making the big macro plays. We've got lots of spore crawlers going up to help out with these battle cruisers. And it is just the one BC moving across the map for now. Battle cruiser moving forward, gonna have to dodge a Yamato cannon unsuc or a Corozabal, pardon me, unsuccessfully taking the 60 damage from that. Now, we'll see if some Hydras get produced to help deal with these battle cruisers for now, though. Evil Zoe is just making up the... making more roaches, more ravagers. We've got a Zergling attack squad starting on the third base, which all of a sudden makes a lot of sense why BenBot has got its third as a planetary. No amount of lings can kill a planetary fortress easily. I mean, 3-3 three, three Adrenal Lings can if there's like no scv repair in time but it's just not easy zergling squad one got zero worker kills says evil zoe in fact it just got deleted we've got some lings hitting the fourth base while this is going on that is not yet a planetary a couple of scvs are getting killed a refinery getting delayed is nice against a gas heavy bot like benbot we see corrosive biles going down as the ravager force moves on in siege tank eats a couple of corrosive biles but evil zoe retreats when it says attack results, that attack is over, so it's now going to pull on out of there. We see Ling's coming on in. <laughs> a little ambitious, going to get chased away. BenBot's making a lot of bio units. It doesn't have stim for them, doesn't have any upgrades for them. So they're not going to be too formidable, but it does have a good number of them. So they could definitely help out. It really is just going to be on the, these BCs to keep this Zerg at bay, I feel, though as uh, there just is a lot more roaches <laughs> than there is bio. The bio doesn't have stim pack, no upgrades. There's going to be 2-2 two -two on these roaches and ravagers. Uh, corrosive Biles dealing some friendly fire there on Evil Zoe's army. However, it's not actually getting that much damage done due to the retreating nature of BenBot. BenBot falls back, takes a pretty darn good trade. Evil Zoe printing the attack results there in chat for his minus 1744 resources. Zergling Squad 2 got zero worker kills. Zergling Squad 2 starting attack on the main base. Not going to make it that far, however. Tanks, Marauders deal with that. And I do got to love how Evil Zoe is printing out these chat tags to let us know exactly what's going on. Probably helpful for the bot author as far as debugging goes. 
That is a lot of Zerglings here for Evil Zoe. It is now starting to get up Adrenal Glands, plus one melee, plus three Carapace, Neural Parasite for these Infestors. I will say, though, the Hydra count isn't that high yet for Evil Zoe. It does at least have Evolved Groove Spines, so they will deal more damage, but the Battle Cruiser count is growing three at a time now for Benbot. It's got that four base economy to pump those out. We do see the Raven get targeted down as Evil Zoe charges into this planetary, but the planetary will hold strong as they so often do. Cross the Bow's going down, trying to hit these Battle Cruisers. Hydras and Roaches are actually a little bit trapped between a rock and a hard place here. They may have to just fight and die potentially, but they're not going to get too much. And yeah, these units are actually cornered. Some bad padding there by Evil Zoe. And now they are running on out of there. All the Hydras die though, so big losses for the Zerg bot. The Zerg bot, however, does have the economy to back this up. We hear a battle cruiser teleport into the main base. There's actually a spore crawler there. Drones immediately burrow. Yamato cannon takes out that spore crawler. The spawning pool is now under threat. Does Evil Zoe deal with this? We see a big old, a big old uh, counterattack there, or response to that attack. Another battle cruiser teleporting on on in. It's off cooldown though, so it's not going to be able to escape. So this teleporting to its death actually that is not good. And I do apologize for my phone and stuff blowing up, guys, as uh, I'm selling something on Facebook Marketplace, so I have to have my notifications on. That's just the way it goes, as anyone who's tried to sell on Facebook Marketplace knows, knows the pain of that. Apologies about that, everyone. Just that quick break in the video. As you imagine, Facebook man showed up. So now we have got 10 Hydras on the way for Evil Zoe. Uh, is that going to be enough to contend with the five battle cruisers of Benbot? <laughs> However, oh man, great neural parasites going down for Evil Zoe, grabbing all the battle cruisers for Benbot, knocking that five down to three, teleporting that BC at the last second. Where did it teleport it to? Pardon me. Uh,. I, I don't actually rightly know where that one BC ended up. Anyway, Evil Zoe now really starting to push into Benbot. The tank trying to hold on, the planetary assisting, dealing with these Ling runbys that are constant. And apparently Mass Hydra and Neural Parasite works out against these BCs pretty darn well. The upgrades for Evil Zoe I think are a really big factor here. The plus two, plus three versus the one one across the board for Benbot at the minute. Uh, so these BCs are going to be chasing away. There's a <laughs> neural parasite on that battle cruiser, however, and it actually Yamato cannons a friendly BC. We see that infester being a big old pain does get deleted. The Yamato cannon does get refunded there on that BC that was going to blow the infester away as it died before that got off. We have got. 200 supply for Evil Zoe. Benbot trying to keep that supply up, really blocked by its gas mining. And it does seem to have a second to breathe, though, but Evil Zoe's planning on going in again. And the Hydra management, the neural parasites with it, seem to be really impressive by the Zergbot. And these BCs, they need to fight all together. They cannot just trickle against this many Hydras. They're taking damage so quickly, having to teleport out. The battle cruiser gets neural, so its teleport gets interrupted and it could potentially die. There's no SCVs to repair this planetary by Evil Zoe. And Evil Zoe is just doing that Zerg thing, it seems, just trying to overwhelm the Terran, wear them down. Benbot's doing a good job keeping its supply up. Can this planetary stay alive? That's going to be a big question. That BC takes a lot of damage. It does get out of there. SCVs have been preparing that planetary, but they're all dead. The Widow Mines as well. One deletes the Hydra there. More BCs coming on in, but that base did end up falling for Benbot. Benbot's supply at 175, staying as high as it possibly can. We have got those hydras being shot on down there. This planetary definitely needs to hold on. I'm not too worried about this one with all the SCVs around to repair it. The tank getting lots of shots off, up to 41 kills. The planetary itself up to 43. Neural parasites going down on two of the BCs. If they die, that'll be a big loss for Benbot, which is now down to 150 supply. It needs to get up another base to keep on mining. 
Looks like Evil Zoe is taking its foot off the gas. This planetary is burning. Are any SCVs going to be assigned to repair it? That's the question. Or this command center, not planetary, pardon me. This PF also needs to be repaired. The battle cruisers are now moving across the map once again. We're up to nine. So that's, that's a very formidable amount of BCs. They've now got two, two upgrades on them, which will really help out. This base is being repaired, but Benbot is going to be running short on cash relatively soon. It had up a fifth, it had up a sixth base, but they both got taken out, so it really needs to get those back up. We see the BCs out on the map. These Hydras are alone. No Infestors to support them. The Infestors are actually behind. There's some Yamato Cannons getting queued on up. A scan goes down. BCs getting Neural Parasited once more, teleporting on out. That one does not make it out in time. That one does, however. The Planetary is still holding on, but a Fungal Growth hits the PF. SCVs are repairing this Planetary, but it looks like Evil Zoe is going to be able to break down that last anchor for Benbot. It's trying to get up another base frantically. It's got a tank there already, but... We'll see if these Hydras can break this location or not, this tank. The backline commander with 81 kills getting lots of shots off, hitting big damage on these Hydras. And oh, the Zerg does manage to break through. There is still two BCs there. There's currently still eight on the map. That's not an insignificant amount of BCs. Benbot's in a rather tough position though with only 36 workers. And I think Evil Zoe may have on it. Yeah, this base not morphing into a planetary is a big pain for Benbot. It means it's not going to be able to defend itself. The Hydra's working away on it. We've got another Neural Parasite on that battle cruiser, And, oh man, just 23 more Hydra's on the way for the Zerg bot. That Zerg economy just pumping out Hydra's. And while Benbot may have, like, 30 seconds to recuperate, I don't think that's going to be enough here. The BCs can potentially make one final one final voyage against the zerg this base not turning into a planetary we've got plus three researching for the terran bot but f well for infantry but there's not a lot of infantry to be seen so maybe that's a consideration for benbot to try and just prioritize the mech more or something like that DC is taking damage, teleporting out. One goes down. That's not something Benbot can afford to replace with only 20 SCVs on the map. This base never becoming a planetary is going to be gunned down. And we are indeed, I think, going to see the end of the end of Ben. Rest in peace, Ben. And yeah, this uh, planetary not got any SCVs, not got any resources really to repair it. So that's going to perish. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this one, hit that like button. It looks like Benbot was close to establishing itself, but Evil Zoe was able to attack to kill off that sixth, to kill off that fifth base, and that seems to be a common trend in these bot versus Terran matches. And I mean, that does happen in, uh, that does happen, oh, look at these BCs on top of this ramp. They're not gonna do too bad for themselves, but oh, there's the Neural Parasites, friendly fire Yamato cannons. Fungal growth too, adding insult to injury. The spell casting of Evil Zoe really is impressive this game. And the BCs are holding on, but there's just nothing to, nothing to keep them alive. They did hit 3-3, which is really showing at the end of this. And so yeah, if Benbot had been able to keep up that fifth, that sixth base for another minute or two, really get itself established. I think Benbot could potentially win this game. We may have to look at a rematch. I really have been enjoying these late game TVZs lately. If you guys enjoy these bot games and want to see more or you want to see something different, leave a comment down below. But uh, yeah, really well done by Evil Zoe, just that straight up Zerg flood. Okay. Hydra's coming on in. Picking off that battle cruiser. And that is gonna be that for for Benbot. Yeah, leave a like, ladies and gentlemen. Leave a comment down below saying more bots. Consider becoming a YouTube member if you do want to support this almost daily content. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for tuning in.